I think we're all concerned about uh, security when it comes to computers and the internet, but did you know you have to be worried about your domain name as well? When people look up your domain name, they can actually find out all sorts of great information. Your name, your address, phone number, everything. Well, here to talk about security for domain names is Peter Liao from uh, NetNation, which is, I guess, part of Hostway. That's correct. And uh, just quickly for the, uh, the viewers, what, what is Hostway? Hostway is uh, basically North America's largest hosting provider. Uh, we have over 600,000 customers um, pretty well worldwide and we have uh, offices in about nine different countries. Everywhere? Pretty well glo globally, yes. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about domain names. Uh, you know, we've got several for our TV show, getconnectedtvshow.com and uh, people can use something called Whois to go in and find out who owns the domain name. Very and, true. And up comes all my stuff. That's right. Basically, um, as part of the regulations when you register a domain. Uh, ICANN requires that when you register a domain, you provide information like your first name, your last name, your address, your phone number, as well as your email and technical email address. So anyone who does a Whois lookup can actually find out a plethora of information about you. And this leaves you open to a lot of um, potential abuse. Um, people like spammers can actually collect your email address and really just send you all sorts of spam. Pe telemarketers can collect your information. It also leaves you open to things like uh, online phishing and identity theft. So the Whois Protector uh, product line was developed by Domain People, which is a company of Hostway. It was basically developed to, in response to this increased uh, abuse online. And what it does is it allows customers to, to subscribe to the service and when they actually activate the service, instead of seeing your information, Domain People actually acts as a proxy on behalf of the customer. Okay. So what that means is basically instead of seeing your name, you'll see domain people's name, domain people's address. But it still allows you to be contacted if people want to do any business with you. So if they want to contact you, they have to contact domain, domain people. You, and then you'll pass on that That's correct. information. That's correct. And that way they can spam you. Pretty well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> really, it, basically what we do is we act as a proxy. So we will actually forward that information to the customer who owns the domain. And it really gives the customer the option to say, do I want to respond or do I not want to respond? And it really prevents anyone from getting a hold of your email address and putting it on a list and selling that list to everyone else who wants to spam. So, you know, really the true value is it provides a great deal of security to people who own domains. Now, let's say, for example, you, you really, you, you use your business for web, your website for business and you want people to contact you, you want people to see what your domain address is on your email. We actually offer a product uh, which is fairly unique to the industry currently, which is called Whois Protector Lite. It acts the same way as Whois Protector, but what it really does is it hides all the information except your email contact information. So that means that, let's say if I want to do business with you and I want to make sure I'm contacting the right person, I can actually see the email address and say, yes, this is the right person and send you an email. On your, on your side, you can actually say, yes, I want people to contact me or no, I don't want people to contact me. And I'm using it for business development reasons. So, you know, people who want to contact me to do partnerships, affiliates or any other agreements can do so and I will still get it, but I don't have to worry about my phone number, my addresses and everything else being exposed to the internet. So you don't have to worry about identity theft and all that. That's uh, correct. All that bad stuff. Uh, so what, what kind of pricing are we looking here? Uh, it's fairly reasonable pricing actually. The Whois Protector Lite goes for $4.95. Is that a month? Four ninety five a month, that's correct. And who was protector that goes for nine ninety five. So it's fairly reasonable and really if you're looking at the value and the convenience of not being spammed, not worrying about someone getting hold of your email address or putting you on a mailing list, it's a very low price, especially if you're talking about your domain, which is your online identity. It's gotta worry about everything nowadays that's up on yeah, the internet. Kind of sucks. Uh, where can people find out more information about this? You can visit uh, hostway.com or domainpeople.com and you can look up the domain the Whois Protector product line there. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks very much.